Foxy and welcome to my Tour de Chaser in its new look. This is my debut in the new Mosul livery ready for Adam Seafest and Le Mans. I'm heading to Tux at the museum, at the British Motor Museum. I'm gonna park the car out the way, capture the arrivals and then go in and reveal the car to the world because as I record this now, I haven't shown people this car yet. The video hasn't released and this is everyone's reaction to seeing the new livery. So I can't wait to get in there. I'm just pulling up now, so let's park up, film the arrival, which will be in a separate video, and then we'll go in and celebrate my birthday weekend as well. I'm quite early, so I don't think anyone actually spotted the car, luckily, but yesterday, after picking this car up, every guy with like an S badge or an ST badge or an R or an M or something, or 3D plates, they suddenly forget how to drive properly and stick to me like glue. It really does stand out on the roads, but I'm gonna park out the way. So if you haven't watched the arrivals video already, go and do that now I would have already dropped it this is the video of the chasers livery reveal I'm gonna go film the arrivals now look at the cambered above this is my mum's favorite car we've got another s15 for the day another mx5 featuring a lot of camber wow look at the width wow look at the lexus in yellow look, he's trying to hide from them that's incredible a white chaser with a green front splitter and camber oh, I've got carbon fiber in my thumb that's splintered Oh. So before I go in, a little walk around and reminder of the wrap. We've got the cherry red and it replicates the livery of the 2018 Le Mans winning car. From Toyota, the number eight car, we've got Adam C. We've got Motor who sponsors Adam C first. And of course, everyone loves a white chaser. Violent D stickers are on the windows too. And around the rear, we've got the pure white. So it still is a pure white Toyota chaser. Whilst I was filming cars arriving and popping and banging, there were quite a few people that pulled into this little lay-by here, saw the car and tagged me on their story. So oh, oh, my party hat, forgot about that. Happy birthday, me. I've also got my new gear from Nubbit Shop. I've fitted that as well, nice spherical metal nub. That's nub with a K, although it's still censored. In my arrivals video, if you haven't seen it, one of the cars blew its prop shaft and it's a carbon fiber prop shaft. I picked up some bits of carbon. I've got carbon fiber in my thumb. I'm not pretending this is a big moment, but I'm looking forward to seeing what people's reactions are to the new livery. Cause personally, I believe it has transformed. It has transformed the look of the car. So here we go. It is coming to 10 o'clock. We are quite late. Show cars are meant to be in by 9.30, but we get to make an arrival as a result because everyone should be in by now. Good morning. It's very flashy. I'm taking your exhibit. Thank you. Yes, I am, yeah. So apparently I'm going to be positioned in front of the main stage because this is the grand reveal. This is obviously my birthday celebration as well. So <laughs> it's a special day for me. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm a fan of a livery. Do you like it? Yeah, really yeah. nice, yeah. Thank you. That's, that's very period correct. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. from what I've been hearing is all positive. It looks incredible. It looks better in person than in pictures, which is saying something because I think the pictures do it justice just as well. The number eight car, which again, around the rear is still a pure white chaser that everyone seems to love. Although there are other cars and I've run over. Oh. But I've just realized normally music plays at these shows. So I'm gonna walk around before that starts because of copyright. So you can see the interiors and exteriors of cars. Look at that. With, with a K. In front of the stage, you've got the orange S15. The sun is trying to come out. We've got the hydraulic suspension on the show. But we're already having to travel away from the stage because music has just started to creep up in volume. But I want to check out this gorgeous Mark V Supra on air ride with a large exhaust sticking out the rear. We've got the custom rear lights on the back of that as well. A Japanese style number plates. This is a general theme for the day. Air ride, wheels, etc. Boosted Civic. We saw this recently. And for something a little bit different, 
awesome. We've got a, well, apparently it's a roof Porsche 911. Lovely Smurf blue example. There's quite a few 911s around. We've got the uh, Sierra Cosworth next door. Beautifully clean Scirocco. Bags Audi R8, special edition as well. Next to the Ruby Star on the Golf. Obviously, new season. We get to see new cars on the scene that we may not have seen before. I think I have seen this, but not very frequently. GT86 on the floor. Wide arches, probably Rocket Bunny. Even a slammed Aston Martin V8 Vantage. But another highlight in the show is a Bags Mercedes S-Class. And one of my highlights in the arrivals video was the Chevy Silverado. You've got the front door, you've got the back door, you've got some hay, some stacked exhaust, and it's a Julie too. Something very different to what you normally see at this show. But beware guys, wheel thieves operate in this area. I presume this guy's the owner of the van. He's got a Harry Bow medallion on, matching the wheels. I've just missed what was in here as well. Harry Bow golden bears, golden interior as well, and the hat. And look, mirror delete, so you can't see what's behind you. Got the gorgeous Evo 8 in silver, quite low to the ground, not as low as the stager behind. And then this 300 ZX is sandwiched between two red Honda NSX, one of which shares the lows that the 300 does. Doesn't share the three spokes though. Love the three spokes and the midnight purple. Someone has even brought a Lamborghini along and disguised it as a Hyundai. You can tell it's a Lambo because look at the doors. But we have some evident latecomers, which includes a raspy Audi R8. Look at the number plate. It says rasp ink. Hello. Another livery. That It looks like a cow, but in purple. A cow that's had a trouble with a Sharpie. Someone should tell the golf owner they've left, they've left the tag out, so they should tuck it in. Ah, now, this is a car that I saw arriving that I wanted it a good look at for good reason. It is a white chaser, and I don't know if I've seen this one before. It's got some green around the lower sections of the car. So you've got the front splitter, you got the side skirts, and around the rear up to his demonstration of his profession and a shotgun exhaust. Or more likely, her profession. More standouts of the show include the PS13 and one of the most modified MX-5s of the show. And talking of MX-5s, there are quite a few with all of this camber that I saw rolling in as well. Let's have a look at the angle of the camber on both the front and the rear of the Mark 1 MX-5. Ah! And Gappy G has gone all feminine. It's pink with a love heart exhaust. Probably the largest love heart exhaust I have seen on a car. Well done. Congratulations. And talking of traditionally feminine colours, we have a new wrap on this Mercedes, which is actually grey on the other side. Look at that. Bit of a fade in colour. You've got pink centre caps in the A1 and pink Barbie branded brake calipers on the Subaru. And I told you there were a lot of cambered MX-5s here today. This is a different one, I promise. And you'll never guess what. Another cambered red MX-5 with a bunch of confused and perplexed people wondering what's going on with it. Obviously we've got this M3 which confused me as it rolled in. I couldn't work out what the colour was. It's like a, a brushed matte black. Talking of wraps and designs on cars, take a look at this bonnet. Oh, pink Barbie hat. Just notice and a zebra, they're endangered. Honestly, there's so many cars here to look at. There's a whole other section up there I haven't even seen yet. Let's see what we can find. There's a polo bread van. Is that an or are you just happy to see me? There are lots of polos here. And a lot of very proud owners of their cars. And a lot of red MX-5s, Mark 1 specifically. This one's even more red because there's a red cover on the red dash which matches the red round the sides. And his red friend who has sunk into the ground. But you never quite know what you will find around the corner at this show. Amongst the sea of hatchbacks, we have a random RWB Porsche 911. I told you there were a bunch of 911s here just hiding around the various corners of the show. But one of the craziest Volkswagens of the show is this wide-bodied Volkswagen Scirocco. So you've got the width of the front arches that go down to the additional side skirts which are rather sizable as well up to the rear arch and then it kind of tucks in that little bit of the rear bumper as well. We have a new arrival sounds like an S body there you go S14 pulling around the corner Marshall directing him into his space quite a lot of S body vehicles Listen to that diff. And he's led my eyes to the attention of another excitable exhaust. Also, this Mark 8 Fiesta used to have the off-white livery, but now it shares a livery designed by the same guys that did my new livery. Violin D performed this job on the Fiesta. Normally they do a lot of JDM, but interesting to see a Fiesta with a similar style. But one of the more unique cars of the show is this modified Peugeot 508. I believe this is coming to Adam Seafest.
guest on the 27th of May this year. In fact, I can ask the owner. So, are you taking this on display to Adam Seavest? Windows up, you couldn't hear me. Of course, now that I'm the owner of a car with a livery, I'm noticing a lot more JDM liveries in the shows. I'm also noticing a Cayman GT4 with a bicycle on the roof, as well as a golden top secret Nissan 350Z. I saw the color and I thought, well, that looks like a top secret car, but it's got all of the graphics on it. I'm pretty sure that the bumpers and kit on it are Nismo inspired. I don't know about the front, but definitely around the rear. And you've got Lamborghini Super Legera badging all around. And at the end of the line, we've got another example of a drift livery on a car, this time an E36. Now, hear me out on this one. I'm trying to work it out. So, Mustang, horse. Horses are ridden by cowboys. Cow, cow print. That's why we've got a cow print on the back of the Mustang. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, there's no kind of wording to call it like a cow stang. A moostang! It's the moostang! There we go. Worked it out. And by the moostang, we've got the M140i, which um, looks a bit smaller than I remember them. But being my birthday celebration, Chloe's arrived with pumpkin. Hello pumpkin! And the cake. It's a Lightning McQueen. Should we, should we put it on the car and cut? Yes. There's no birthday without Lightning McQueen birthday cake. Everyone's more focused on the awards being given out, but this is where the proper content is. Let's open him up. It's chocolate as well. Look, he's coming out of the garage. Here he comes. Vroom, vroom, ka -chow. That is a very depressing looking Lightning McQueen. Oh, don't Have you got me. candles? Uh, yeah, three today. Three today. It's not my greatest work, but we've we've got five slices. This is Pumpkin's first car show, by the way. She loves the white chaser, she told me. And yes, she does only have three legs. She, she likes, likes an Adam, look. Oh. That's why she's with me. But while someone gets pulled over inside the show, we're gonna leave the show before that happens to us. Oh, the hat. Got the uh, stuff on the dashboard, the happy birthday sign, and some photographs of the car. We've got the grayscale version. A couple of Polaroid images and an edited Polaroid image as well. Oh, look at that lineup over there. You got white, yellow, white, yellow, white. The exit has been very busy of cars leaving, but we've waited for a good moment. Photographers be photographing. They want me to rev it, but I shan't. Hello. I need to wait for Chloe before I leave because she's in the public car park in the fridge and then we shall leave together. See who's on the exit because this time last year at the exit there was a slight incident with a slight chromey car to do with a slight water bottle that was maybe a slight lie. Yeah, thank you. So here we have two police cars camping up. I'm gonna camp up as well. So here it is, Chaser. Two police cars, there's a third one up there due to the water bottle incidents. Luckily, I've had all my water inside and I've left the vessels behind. See what other cars are leaving before Chloe appears. There's a camo van. There's Chloe, whoops. There's a police car over the road as well as next to me. No sins are gonna be made from myself. So, that was Chuck's at the museum for my birthday celebration and the reveal of the new livery and more police further down the road. I reckon there must be about 10 units within the area. Obviously the wrap has all been done for Adam Seafest on the 27th of May. There's tickets down below, but I hope you enjoyed that video from Tucked at the Museum. But for now, thanks for watching.